Right, in this video, we're going to see how to do question three on the practice for applications E7, and we're going to use the TI-84 graphing calculator. And this first part of the question, we don't need to use the calculator. I just want to have a graph that represents this expression, which basically says, what is the probability that the random variable is less than 0 0.1. So the arrow indicates where the value of the random variable is. If we put that at 0 0.1, then you can see that the blue shaded area, right, you need a left of a value. The area to the left is the values where z is less than 0 0.1. And that total area in blue is the probability that z is less than 0 0.1. For the second part, we know the area. The probability is 0.2. And we need to know where we need to put the arrow so that the value of the random variable greater than that number is going to be 0.2. So c is the location of this arrow. Since we're looking at values of the random variable greater than c, we need to shade to the right of a value. Now I know that it's going to be to the right of 0, because if it's at 0, then this area is 1 half, and 0.2 is less than 1 half. So it's got to go somewhere to the right of that. Now when I get it so that the area in blue is 0.2, the other side is going to be 0.8. And that's actually the number you want to give to the calculator. Remember, the graphing calculator takes an area on the left. So we use the inverse norm command. And for area, we want to put in 0.8. The mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1 because from the graph you can tell these are the standard normal distributions. So this is at about 0.8. So we need to put the line at 